All right, back again. I have improved this cell tremendously. Um, the leaking has completely stopped. Um, now what I've done is I've taken this here is a cutting board that I got at Walmart. I think it's about it's about half inch thick. Cut it into two pieces, ran two ran four five sixteenths bolts through them. And then underneath, I don't know if you can see that. This is these are two sixteenth inch rubber uh, gasket material that I got at uh, Home Depot. Um, that's what's keeping it sealed. Got my temperature gauge hooked up to it. It's almost 30, 30 degrees Celsius. That's about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm running up, up through to my bubbler. And this is a completely saturated unit so it's full of water and by thermal migration the HHO is coming up through this line into the bubbler through the bubbler and out the top and then also it comes out the bottom of the bubbler and the water is actually traveling through this hose back into the bottom of the cell. Inside the cell there are 11 plates, 8 inch spacing, 3 positives, 3 negatives, 5 neutrals. Right now it's running about 12 amps. Now it's up to 30 degrees Celsius, about 80, it's about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. My solution is uh, distilled water and two teaspoons of baking soda in one gallon of water. So I, I poured in about a, this unit is taking about a half gallon of water. Next I'm going to run some tests and see how much uh, this produces. Okay, I got my watch here and go. Well, I lost my battery there. Got a new battery in it. Let's uh, try this again. Get my watch here. And go. Okay, let's try this again. Just wait for the clock here. Okay, that is 350 milliliters a minute. I'm going to let this run for a while longer. 
see if there's a temperature that it uh, tops out at. Take a measurement when we get to that point. Thanks for watching.